Yolo Gamers, Gus from Bricks and Games here, and today we will be playing some more Team Fortress 2, and we're going to be taking a look at the scout and how to use him in Man vs. Man. So, before we get started, I'll go over my loadout that I use. I use the regular scatter gun, the Mad Milk, and the Sandman. And the Mad Milk and the Sandman, you can actually upgrade to do some pretty useful things. So, Let's get started with the upgrades. So when you go into the upgrade station, the first thing you'll want to buy is probably the um, the minus 35% speed on target for this. A really important upgrade is the ball marks target upgrade. But because it's 500, we can't buy it in the very first round. So we have to wait until the next round. So that second two hundred um, dollars is going to be uh, spent towards movement speed because movement speed is very important. Because as the scout, your goal for your team is to be collecting the money and um, supporting your team, making it easier for them to deal damage to you. Because you're a very weak class, but as scout, um, collecting money actually increases your health it it gives you a little bit of healing so that that's actually really good for what we're wanting to do so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run in really fast grab all the money do a little bit of damage with our scatter gun and then run out also hitting also hitting the enemies with the sandman and hitting them with the milk because with the milk with that upgrade, it slows the enemies down by um, 35%, which is very useful for m making sure that they don't advance too quickly. It's also very useful if you splash it on sentry busters, it makes them go really slow, so your engineer has plenty of time to react. <clears throat> and as well, any damage that your team deals to the robots, it also gives them back as health. Let's get started. So see right here, I'm kind of using my teammates as cover. So that they, so that I don't get damaged up to me. So right now, as you can see from collecting the money, I have 500 health, which is really insane when you think about it. So if we splash this milk down here, then our then our teammates will um, gain health when they deal damage to the enemies that are splashed with the milk. That's how. That's also how it works in the regular game too. So let's wait for more enemies to come. I think we're doing fairly well for this first wave. Let's run and grab some money. There's another sentry buster. Why do I always use my milk before the sentry busters come? It's kind of funny. Alright, here's the rest. Alright, so we're almost finished this, with this first wave here. That's another good thing about the scout, is that because you're so fast, if an enemy gets away or goes up in some weird spot like that, then you could chase him down. And really fast, faster than the other classes could. So now we've got more money, we've got 582, and we can buy the, um, the ball marks target. And what this does is whatever enemy we hit with our ball from the Sandman, it gets marked for death, making all the damage dealt to them um, mini crits. So that's really helpful, especially on the big robots, which there aren't any this round, but it'll still be very helpful because we're, we're, we have some pretty tanky units. Let's go. So 
what this does is if say there's a really dangerous target that we need to take out I can hit the ball into them and then they will um, be marked for death taking mini crit damage for a little while the only downside to this is that of course the ball takes a little time to regen which you can upgrade and make it so that it doesn't take as long or you have more more balls but then also what you can do is you can actually um what is it you can actually um hit the enemies with it and then i think it might bounce off so that you can collect it again but it's really helpful to deal the mini crit damage because that just makes it so much easier to take out the enemies all right so the round's almost starting we'll go up here Let's just sit back and wait for our teammates to deal with it. Just gain some money so we can get a little bit of extra health. And then I think, uh, just because we're the scouts, we could collect the money uh, from a little bit further away. So there's a lot of enemies. Oh, he died. Yeah. You, as a scout, you need to keep mobile. You can't be standing still very long. Thankfully, we're back on the battlefield fast. So what we're going to do is just to demonstrate, I'm going to hit one of these guys. And now he's marked for death. So all the damage is still to him is going to hit. Which is very nice. Alright, so Sentry Buster's coming. And I think I'm going to splash the Sentry Buster. Oh, it didn't hit it. Alright. Alright. So... We just keep collecting the money, then get more help. It's getting kind of laggy. There we go. So with our speed again, we could chase down the enemies that are getting away. That makes it really easy to get it done. And what what we you should do as a scout is just go for targets that are kind of alone and just pick them off. Just go for the most important targets, kind of like how you do in regular play. And get around them, around the back. All right, we killed the sentry buster, which is pretty cool. I haven't really done that very much. And that was because we splashed it with the milk, which made it go slower. So it gave our team extra time to take it out. Alright, so now we've got more money, and then we can improve our things. So right now we've got a tank coming in. So that means we want to upgrade our damage. So if we just buy um, one of these damage ones. And then let's also buy reload speed, because it'll help us... Um, just keep shooting the tick for longer. <clears throat> so unfortunately, to my knowledge, the milk and the ball don't really affect the tank. The, the ball still does damage, but um, to my knowledge, it doesn't stun or um, mark for death the tank, which is unfortunate. And the man milk definitely does not slow it down. It just keeps going, so... But that's too bad with these things. But what we can do is still um, take out some of these support classes like the snipers and spies. We can work on taking those out. Because that way, um, 
it'll help our team because if we have a whole bunch of snipers it's just going to be really annoying for our team to deal with and then and the snipers can actually deal quite a bit of damage so as soon as we take out those snipers we're actually um make it easier for our team all right so the way's starting soon And the tape's coming. So, just as an experiment, we're gonna try the ball. So, it hit it, didn't even damage it, it just bounced off. So, don't you, don't waste your time with the ball. And then the milk, yeah, same thing, just bounces off. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow right behind and deal more damage. Our team is doing really well. Spies are coming, and we might see them, we might not, because they might be invisible. I don't think we will, so we'll just help take them out of the game. Alright, so with that wave, I think also on the, on the normal levels, with the waves, like I think it's wave 3, with only one tank, and in those waves you just have to take out the tank, so that's what you should really be worrying about. Alright, so now we've got 500 more credits. You can see that there's heavies. So for that one, we're going to want to upgrade our bullet resistance. And then we could use the 200 to do something else. So what I normally do is I'll just... Um, whoops. Why'd that happen? What I'll do is I'll just um, upgrade some other things. Like we could do 200, 20, plus 25 health on kill. That's a good one. So if we do end up killing anything with our scatter gun, we get a little bit of health back, which is always good. Go, go, go! I think we're almost ready. Just need to wait for a few more people to see that they're ready. Catch this! Another thing you could do, like you could upgrade the Kirk Canteen, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough money right now to justify upgrading Everybody the crit, crit canteen, so I'm probably not going to do that right now, but maybe if I get more money where I can, but the crit canteens aren't really that useful, the scouts or any of the other canteens, just because you're not, you're not one of the main damage dealing classes as a scout, you're, you're just kind of a support class. You don't deal all that much damage. You help out. You spot. You hit him with the Sandman. You splash him with the milk, and um, it just helps your team out and makes it their job easier. Because so the other main damage dealing classes like heavies and domen and um, soldiers, they deal a lot of damage. So they're the they're some of the most important classes. So if we just when they're coming in here, just pick off. Pick them off from the from above. And this heavy here, you could just stun him with the ball. Or try to stun him with the ball anyways. Oh, we forgot to upgrade the amount of balls we have. You can up upgrade that too. Upgrade the how many balls you have to start off with. And then you could also upgrade how fast those balls you can. Alright, so try and hit one of these heavies. No, we didn't get it. Now we can hit him with the note. And that will help our team also. Let's wait for our ball to regen. Alright, so get that up, get out the ball. We just hit. Alright, we ended up hitting one of the heavies behind. I'm not very good with aiming the ball. Alright, so there's the Central Buster. I think he'll get away in there now. Splash this guy a bit more. That way our team is getting some more help. Alright, 
going quite a bit in here. Alright, so those skeletons are to get a bit quicker. This heavy will be doing a lot of damage today, so I'm gonna retreat. Oh no. Long zones to the hatch. So let's, let's get a bit more aim. First Alright, we finished the wave. So let's go back and collect all the money that we missed. Alright, so we got all the money that round, so that means we got a bonus. And that's that's another one of your goals as a scout, to get get the uh, all the money so that your team gets bonus money, and that'll help out a lot. So what we're going to do for this one, because there's the giant heavy, we are going to upgrade um, the, the one, plus 100% max miscellaneous ammo and wear. And that makes it so that we get just basically an extra ball for every one of these. And then what we're also going to do is um, probably upgrade our bullet resistance again. And then uh, let's let's upgrade our recharge rate. So now um, we have three balls with our Sandman. So that, that'll help out a lot. And they recharge really fast. So that's normally... Um, that upgrade is normally to the point where you don't really have to upgrade anymore. Just like two or three extra balls and then um, incre one increased recharge rate and that's normally good for most rounds but um, you could upgrade further if you want but it's not really that necessary but from now on we either want to be focusing on for investment wise the recharge of our milk or the um, just the overall effectiveness of our scattergun Hold on, let me turn this chat off. It's annoying. I always turn that off just because. Alright. The wave's starting. And now when the heavy comes through, we're going to want to um, hit him with the ball soon. Play ball. So there's some scouts coming in. We'll just wait. Maybe plank it down if I can hit him. The real thing we want to um, we want to focus on is the heavy this round, just because it's so powerful. So we missed that one. So we can try again. All right, we got it that time. All right, so we got, we got the heavy with the ball again. Get him again. All right, we took out we took out the heavy, and that that was the wave. Very nice. This one's pretty easy. All right, so now we've got extra money. Oh, I think we missed some money. Let's go and do that real quick. Go go go! Um, did we miss any? I don't think we did. Or if we did, it's too late now. Alright, so let's get back. So now we can upgrade probably our scatter gun. We've got these um, soldiers, giant soldiers here. So we're also on to upgrade our blast resistance pretty well. So now our blast resistance is higher. We might still end up dying, but that will be that's just too bad. And then let's also upgrade our projectile penetration. And that makes it so that our bullets from our scare gun pass through an additional target. Which just makes it do a little bit more damage. Which is good. And now let's get back up here. They should be coming soon. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright. So this round will probably be pretty hard because it's the soldiers. So we have to make sure that we keep dodging and we don't engage for the soldiers for too long. Because they'll they'll be able to probably one-shot us if we're not collecting a lot of money. 
just because their weapons are so powerful and we're so weak. But because of this Sandman, we lose 15 health, I think. So that's just another downside. Um, an alternate weapon, melee weapon, I've seen people use is the Fan of War. I don't personally have it, which is why I'm not using it. I mean, it makes sense, right? I couldn't use it if I didn't have it. But it also, um, it comes by default. It marks the things you hit, the enemies you hit with um, mini crits, which is pretty good. But the only downside to this is that you have to get really close to your enemies. A lot of scouts are in here, and I'm getting quite a bit of lag. I have no idea what this scout is doing. I can't deal much damage to these guys. So I think I think some of the soldiers are coming to so we should probably head back and focus on those. Are they up? So then now what we can do is just hit them, hit them with the same man, splash them with the milk, and then we'll get a lot of, we'll get quite a bit of health from the All right. So we took, our team took them out. Oh, that was a lot of lag. All these scouts are back here, I don't know what they're doing. Alright. I think we'll need a bit more ammo now. Alright, so we took out the soldier, and that ended the wave. No, we missed some cash so we can go back and just check if we, if we can still get any of it. Which it looks like we can't, unfortunately. But now we've got 600, uh, we got a lot more cash. So, let's see. We've got a whole bunch of scouts this round, which is not the greatest, so... Because they're, they're as fast as us, so they're pretty hard to tar target to hit with the scatter gun, which is unfortunate. But what we can do for this round is just upgrade all of our other things for the other rounds. So let's just upgrade um, probably the recharge rate. And then I don't know what we'll need for next round because I don't know if there will be pyros. Because I don't think I've played this one. So let's also upgrade the damage. That would be nice. Alright, we're starting soon. I don't know how many scouts there will be. There's a, gonna be 150, but I don't know if they'll have the, the bats or shotguns or what. So, I have no idea. Bat scouts are really annoying. They could also take, uh, they can also deal a lot of damage, which is the bad thing about them. Let us move. That guy is shooting flares really fast. I don't know how. He's like machine gunning the flares. He must have upgraded the fire rate a lot. All right. There's more scouts coming. Oh, they're coming from this direction too. I think this stone man anticipated that they'd be coming from this direction. We could do what we could do is just go behind and collect some money. Our scatter gun doesn't have any blast damage or anything, so it's kind of hard to hit these guys unless they're going so. So what we can do if, is if there's any scouts like in the lead, we could just splash some of the milk on them and make it so that they slow down. There's a whole bunch of scouts coming, so we'll throw the milk, and now they're really slow. And then we could also gain a little bit of health from that. Cause now we've got 540 health, 
which is more than a heavy, which is really good. So, um, we can just keep collecting this stuff. Alright, so we need, we need more health, or we need more ammo, sorry. We don't need any more health. We have like 550 health, which is a lot. We'll be able to soak up a lot of damage, but... So the sentry busters... I think there's a sentry buster coming soon. Alright, so we took that guy out. I think the sentry must buster must have already passed. I didn't see him. Oh well. There's another sentry buster coming. Oh, and you won the wave. Sweet. So now let's click all the money that we can. And also, the nice thing is that the more money collect that we collect, the more health we'll have for the next round. So I think it starts going down faster once you um, finish the round, but we've still got 500 health o left over. All right, so this round we've got heavies, we've got we've got a giant heavy, we've got a giant soldier, we've got a tank, we've got scouts and uber medics. So what we'll want to do as scout is take out those uber medics because those are really high priority targets, and they're normally blocked by the um, giants. So what we're gonna need to do is we're probably gonna need to upgrade our see we've got that so let's upgrade our blast resistance and then our movement speed additionally Everybody and ready. that should be fine let's go hey good job there hot hat all right so now it will be coming pretty soon so what we're going to do is we're just going to splash a whole bunch of them anyone that has the bomb um, we'll, we'll just splash the milk, and then we'll also hit them with the balls. The uh, fun thing I noticed I'd like to do with the same man, you've probably seen it before, he's hit over and over. So, um, that's cool. I actually one time got a taunt kill with the same man, because with the taunt, you could actually hit the enemies. And it's really fun to try and kill people with the kill taunts. Cause it's just so embarrassing when they do. They're just they get so annoyed with you. And there it's always the enemies you have that are just standing around like snipers and stuff oh that don't gosh. really notice you. So you can just come up and just hit them and then they'll be super annoyed. Alright, so there there's that medic coming in. So what we're gonna wanna do when the when they drop down is we're going to we're going to just take out the medic over there fast. Oh, that didn't, didn't work very well. So we we need to take out that medic. That, that's like our job. So I think the medic was taken out. But another thing we need to do is just mark him as many clicks so that he takes additional damage. He's taking quite a bit of damage, you know? Uh, and he died. Oh man, that was a close save. Alright, so there's a sentry bus over there. Oh, we missed the milk, that's too bad. Took the little bit of money. Alright, so let's take out this entry bus. Alright, we won! And that was it!
pretty sweet, huh? Alright, thanks so much for watching, and that was my guide on how to play a scout on Man vs. Man. Hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and then if you liked the video, um, put a like down below. And then if you didn't like the video or have any other suggestions, put a comment down below as well, so I can improve later on. And that will help me out so much. Thank you very much. Bye.